Welcome to John Barry's Songs and Stories for Kids with Papa Bear. Thank you for allowing us into your home today to share these great stories with you and your family. Please take a moment to share this with your friends on Facebook. Also, if you all happen to take any photos of your family enjoying and following along, we'd love to share them. Please send them to us on the John Barry Music Facebook page. Now, without further ado, here's Papa Bear. Hey little cubs, welcome to Songs and Stories for Kids with Papa Bear. Have you had fun today? We have had so much fun. We had some of our family come visit all the way from Texas, and it's always fun to spend time with our family, especially those we don't get to see very often. I can remember when I was young, I had some cousins come to visit, and all of us kids would camp out in the tents in the backyard. It was so much fun. One of the coolest things that night was laying out on blankets and looking up at the stars and the moon and wondering what it was like in space and on the moon. Neil Armstrong was an American astronaut and the first person to walk on the moon. It was on July 20th, 1969. I was only nine years old and I remember watching it all happen on television. It was a very special and proud moment for our country. Our story today is A Kite for Moon, and it was written by Jane Yolanda and Heidi E.Y. Stemple, and the illustrations are by Matt Phelan, and it is dedicated to Neil Armstrong for inspiring so many of us to follow our dreams. A kite for moon. Are you ready to read? Let's begin. It was morning and moon sat alone in the sky. The stars were all abed. No one below was singing to her. No one was sending up rockets or writing poems about her. No one was taking her photograph or painting her picture. Moon began to feel terribly sorry for herself. Down below, a very small boy flying his kite on the beach near his house looked up at Moon. Moon, he called up to her, don't be sad. He ran as far as he could all the way to the edge of the water where Moon sat on the horizon. He tried to hug Moon as his mother did him whenever he was unhappy, but Moon was too far away. So he wrote on his kite, promising to come someday for a visit. Then he let go of his kite sending it up, up, up for the moon. Days went by, years. Moon waxed and waned. She counted shooting stars and meteors. She worried about peace down on earth and strange objects whizzing by. She eclipsed. Many nights, the boy watched Moon through a telescope his father had given him. Many days, he sent up a new kite for Moon. Red kites, blue kites, green kites, yellow. Some fell back to earth. Some disappeared into the sky. And Moon watched the boy grow. Every day the boy studied hard. He learned his large numbers and his small sums. He learned algebra and equations. He learned geometry and tried to square the circle. He learned all about the sky and the moon. He learned to ride a bicycle, drive a car, fly a plane and a rocket. Then one day, 
When he had learned enough, he went up, up, up in a big rocket ship with a fiery tail. Hello, moon, he said. I've come for that visit. And the whole world watched. The end. What a great story about following our dreams. Sometimes it might seem like the things we want to do are as far away as the moon and stars. But with a lot of work and determination and following God's will for our lives, we could accomplish any dream. So let me encourage you to dream big. All right, it is time to kick off our shoes and dance around and get a little bit of exercise, all right? You ready? joining me today. It has been awesome spending time with you. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I look forward to being with you next week for Songs and Stories for Kids.